There's no question that, um, uh, you know, we look at it as an extension of the classroom. And we talk to our kids about, um, you know, taking care of their studies first. And we talk about uh, you know, behavior at contests that, uh, you know, your behavior should be very similar to what it would be like in a classroom. We want you to cheer and, and go crazy when the Rockford Rams are playing. But, um, you know, at the, same, at the same time, we want you to say things at an athletic event that you would say in a classroom setting. Um, you know, you don't boo at your classmates if they screw up their speeches. You know, we don't want you to boo at a referee when he makes, you know, poor calls or a call that they didn't agree with. Um, so, you know, everything we try to do has, has that educational aspect to it. And fortunately, we have good students. I mean, um, you know, I mentioned the community's good, the administration's good. We have some, some outstanding, um, you know, young men, young women. They're not, uh, they're not headed to the pros. I think it's always interesting people say, well, how many kids are getting recruited? Or how many go on to play Division I college athletes? We've had some special athletes, don't get me wrong. But our, the, you know, the success of our program is having some, some you know, talented kids, but the kids that really work hard um, and kids that uh, really work together well, um, you know, to reach certain goals. And, and uh, so, I, you know, I think that's a, a big part of it. They're smart kids. They're, they're kids that uh, have good family support. Uh, you know, unfortunately, all school districts, I, I know, and as you know, you know, you can't say maybe the family structure isn't the same. But we're fortunate here that uh, our families are involved, our community's involved, and, uh, you know, the support is just kind of felt from all over.